If you've had a slap tear, surgery won't fix it, and it often makes things worse. Many surgeons view surgery as the go-to solution, when it should really be your last option. Because once you go under the knife, there's no turning back, and there's no guarantee it'll solve the issue. Your immediate course of action should be a tried and true rehabilitation program. One designed by experts who have a track record of successfully rehabilitating slap tears and restoring individuals to unrestricted, full range strength training and sports. I speak from experience. I've had slap tears in both shoulders and I avoided surgery, not out of luck, but because I had access to world-class sports physiotherapists who steered me through a highly effective rehab process. I've since distilled this process into a systematic approach to slap tear rehabilitation, aimed at helping others just like you. And in today's video, I'll delve into why surgeons should never be your initial go-to. I'll expose the critical difference between the approach of a sports physiotherapist who works for a professional football team and whose mission is to get athletes back on the field as quickly as possible Compared to a sports physio who works in a general clinic serving the wider public, you'll find that their guidance and advice are worlds apart, each tailored to very different objectives and timelines. Lastly, I'll give you an inside look at what a slap tear rehab program from an elite sports physiotherapist looks like. This way, you'll be armed with the knowledge you need to make the best decisions for your own recovery journey. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss this. Get your slap tear rehab program here. Just click or tap the screen to get it. Here's the hard truth about slap tear surgery. It doesn't address the root cause of the problem. Even the world's leading surgeons can't restore your shoulder to its original state of function. Why? Because a slap tear throws off the harmony between your inner unit of stabilization muscles and the outer unit of prime movers. Your nervous system locks down the shoulder, restricting movement, which leads to instability and pain. This disruption leads to painful joint glide in both the humerus and the glenohumeral joint, limiting your range of motion and causing dysfunctional movement patterns. The key to real recovery is neuromuscular reactivation exercises for the rotator cuff and scapular stabilizers, along with strengthening the primary more superficial muscles like the pecs, lats, deltoids, biceps and triceps. Yes, even if you undergo surgery, rehab is still non-negotiable to regain full function. And here's what surgeons often won't tell you. If proper rehab can fix the issue, then surgery might just be redundant, only crucial in the most extreme cases. Folks who aren't serious about their training, like you and me, can opt for surgery because it's the easy way out, and they're not fussed if they can't keep working out the way you and I like to. But for those of us who are serious about our training, anything but full recovery is non-negotiable. Now, let's talk about the stark contrast in approach between a top-level sports physio and a general population sports physio. The latter usually deals with individuals who may have minimal to no athletic background, people who've rarely, if ever, stepped inside a gym. Consequently, their rehab programs can be somewhat basic and protracted. Why? because they often depend on repeat visits for their business model. In contrast, when I experienced my slap tears, I was fortunate enough to have two elite level sports physiotherapists working out of my gym. We would work out together daily and do live Q&A talks about injury rehab on YouTube. So I had this constant guidance with my slap tear rehab. That level of physiotherapy is unprecedented and gave me invaluable knowledge paired with first-hand experience of slap tear rehab. Their perspective on treating slap tears diverged dramatically from conventional wisdom. They had me advancing to increasingly challenging movements every two to four weeks. I was weightlifting from day one, accelerating my recovery beyond anything I had imagined. The reason their approach to slap tear rehab was so radically different from that of an average physiotherapist comes down to their specific roles. They're both head sports physiotherapists for some of Australia's elite football clubs. Unlike general population physios who often rely on repeat visits from everyday people, these guys have a singular laser focused mission, getting an elite athlete back into the game as quickly as possible. So they see rehabilitation very differently than any other physio I've worked with. Their strategy was simple. Reawaken the scapular stabilizers and rotator cuff and remind them how to do their job properly. This gets the shoulder stable and moving the way it should again. 
And then we just strengthened the pain-free range and used progressive overload to increase that range over time. With this approach, I was able to do behind the head shoulder press within about 12 weeks of my injury and eventually made a complete recovery. The secret to my success was periodization. So every two to four weeks, my program would change to reflect the adaptation and newfound pain-free range I had. I've since used the same program to rehabilitate loads of people around the world. You can get a customized version of this program that's tailored to your needs and get coached by my team and I inside the UMS Tribe membership if you click or tap the screen here. But here's an example of the phase one workout that we get people started with. First, we do some scapular stabilization work like this. It's all about keeping the scapula retracted and depressed whilst moving the hand only. Then we do some scapular stabilization and rotator cuff work before moving into some isolated rotator cuff work. This is all considered neuromuscular activation exercises. It's not to build muscle, but rather to reawaken the neuromuscular connection so that the inner unit of stabilization muscles is doing its job properly, which reduces pain exponentially. Then we move into strength work for some of the prime movers, starting with a floor press and a single arm row. And then we finish with some bicep and tricep work. We use reduced range of motion and light weights in phase one. We don't want to make things worse and it's basic stuff, but the shoulder adapts so quickly that we are able to move to more challenging exercises and an increased range of motion every two to four weeks. So you will only be doing this workout for a short time before moving on to phase two. And in the UMS Tribe membership, I create custom versions of this program and work closely with you to ensure you're progressing safely and efficiently. Plus there are detailed tutorials for all the exercises to ensure you're performing them correctly. If you've watched until this point, I can only imagine that you're serious about fixing your slap tear without surgery. You owe it to yourself to try this program out before going under the knife. A month working with my team and I costs less than half of what a single physio session costs. And you'll start with a free trial. So click or tap the screen to get started. And if you're not ready yet, go and read some of my Google reviews. Make sure you click the newest tab so you can see people who have used my slap tear rehab program. Pay special attention to Karina McCormack and Dane Anderson's review. These guys came to me feeling pretty hopeless and were absolutely blown away at how quickly their pain vanished doing this program. 